I'd like to sing Cessa di più resistere, which is the last aria of Count Almaviva from Il Barbiere di Siviglia. Great. If you resist, if you resist, no <laughs> yeah, well, it's opera. Have you have you sung this? Have, have you sung this aria much? Where are you in this in its evolution? It's in the process of being a month and a half, a couple of months. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's not bad. A month, because that's a, that's a really this is a big project. When you take on this is a Mount Everest type aria, right? You're climbing Mount Everest when you, uh, yeah? yeah. Or is it easy for you? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I know, I remember when I was first like looking at the big arias, una voce. Non più mesta, tanti affetti. It was kind of like, okay, this is a nine-month project, maybe a year. I don't know. And the first, the first month or something, you're like, I'm never ever gonna get this. Yeah. Okay. So if you haven't been living with this for too long, you're on a. This is a good, good track. Yeah. <laughs> and what I like about it is you really take the stage and you're sort of fearless with it, and it's, it's, it has a lot of energy. You did a lot of things that I really liked in it, but again, it's a really specific beginning in particular. You're stopping the show here, and you're saying after three, almost three hours of being belittled by this man, you know, Bartolone, you're finally saying, I'm the Count, and how dare you treat her that way, Bilal. Now, you can own your stature. You can own your position, finally, as the Count, and really take the stage, and you do it all with your voice. It's amazing. That's when opera gets so powerful, is that the weapon is the voice. And Bartolo has no recourse. He just sits there and goes, ah. Okay? okay? So the opening is really important. What do you say, cessa? What does that mean? Um, cessa, stop trying to desist from. Yeah, but just resisting. cessa is just stop. stop. Yeah. Cease yeah. all this resistance. Cessa. If you resist, and you choose the word resistere, mm -hmm. and then what do you say? Uh, Di più resistere, yeah. <laughs> right? Not resisting anymore, exactly, yes. Yeah. So you choose. Why do you have to repeat that? Other than... Just to affirm yourself. Is he going, all? no? Or do you like hearing yourself sing?
what a surprise. <laughs> I love tenors, I really do. Um, oh wait, this is on camera, I really do. Okay. Um, Cessa di più resistere. If you love the way that sounded, love the next one even more. Di più resistere. Now what? Okay. One of the things that I love to think about in coloratura, in this kind of coloratura, is that it's no longer singing, but this is painting. Like, imagine you're five years old and you've just been given your first set of finger paints. Oh my God, look. And you look at your mom like, can I really do this? Do I have permission to do this? <gasps> oh my God, so cool. Chessa di più resistere. I want the blue. Di più resistere. I want them all. Da, da, di, da, 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 da. Do you know what I mean? So we get it. What brings us to music? We go into the, the pots and pans in the kitchen. We start banging on them. And we go, oh, this is so much fun. And then we go to opera school and we're like, and it becomes all generic and sanitary. Now here's the thing. We have to prepare it that way. We have to be really, really, really extremely specific in the way. We have to learn it note by note and have it perfect. And then we need to start messing it up and have this freedom, this joie de vivre in it. Is this making sense? Yes. Do you want to try the first couple phrases? Please. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Can you have that che ready on the first note? Awesome, cool. Another reason to repeat it. Maybe he's not listening. Di più resistere, di più resistere. Okay, try it. You're ready to go when she starts. You already have it. Whoa. Great, and that phrase goes up. Yeah, up, not down. Okay, so that you can finish with, I am the count. Did you hear me? Right? Does that make sense? How's that first phrase feel? Fresh. Ooh, we like fresh. <laughs> this is good. Do you know the other thing that that makes us do? Listen. If you do it exactly the same way, we don't need to listen. We know how it goes. If you're creating it in the moment, we haven't the faintest idea what's going to happen next, no matter how many times we've heard it. And again, I'm not talking about rewriting it. I'm talking about being in that moment. And this is the first time those words and those notes have ever come into existence. Because that's what needs to happen. It's what happens in Shakespeare, on plays. It's what happens on TV shows. We're supposed to enter in this world of make-believe where it's happening in that moment and has never been thought of before. So you've got to have that. The difference is all you did was emphasize pew a little bit more. I mean, technically, it was a really simple thing, but it pops out more. Then the other little kind of vocal fun that you can have, that's going to be the highest point of the phrase, right? Mm -hmm. So let us wait for it for a second. Do you see how we're starting to paint it? We're not singing it. Do you know what I mean? Perfectly as on the page, yes. Yeah. It's mine then, exactly. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. We don't want tenor X, tenor Y, tenor Z. We know what they do, then it's fabulous. We want to hear what Nicholas does. Should we start it one more time? Okay, cool. <laughs> Di più resistere, di più resistere, non ci mentar mio sdegno. 
that has an exclamation point at the end. I love it. That's great. How's that feel? Good. Good. Now, there's one thing I want to play with. I didn't say this earlier, and I get a, sometimes in a little trouble for saying this, but it's true. I'm not a pedagogue. I'm not a voice teacher, okay? I'm not going to... I don't want to mess with all that because it's too scary. Um, but there's something I want to just get you thinking about and ask what you feel. Tell me what you experience when you breathe. I've changed it lately. Mm -hmm. Around. <laughs> Which is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, I used to feel like I used to sit on it before, but now I feel like I'm trying to, when it's successful, yeah. open up my ribcage as much as I can, which is different, I feel more buoyant. Yeah, do you do that on the inhalation? Or are you trying to keep it open? What are, what's, when you say keep the ribs open? Um, I try to breathe in my back. Oh, that's really good. That's well, the I first breath sometimes. I've actually, that's the first breath I've really seen you take all night. <laughs> Thank you. But am I wrong about that? No, you're absolutely right. There's a scary, scary thing when we walk out in front of people and our body goes <gasps> And then we're singing and we're singing and we're really good and we have a lot of muscle memory and we can really make it happen and we can really do it and then, and then you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm not off track. No, no. Okay, but tell me if I am because I don't want to lead you astray. That was a beautiful, amazing breath. It was a pillow, it was a cushion, it's whatever imagery you want to use. It went 360 degrees around you. It dropped. And one image that I love, this belongs to Deborah Birnbaum, I'm not creating it, is this idea that when you breathe in, if you don't mind, it's as if four um, tent poles jut out of you, sort of diagonally front and back and there. Yeah. Okay, and they kind of go, Whoak. wow, I can sing forever like this. Look how stable it is. Look how low it is. Look how, wah. And then as you sing, they sort of pivot. Or uh, what's that word? Um, wine Spark. corkscrew. Spark. <laughs> wine. <laughs> Sorry. They sort of corkscrew into the ground. So, chessa di più resistere. Going, going, going. There's nothing happening here. Nothing happening here. Wow, how am I singing? Oh, the breath is carrying the sound. Or, you know, the breath is going through the vocal cords and they're vibrating. Make sense? The other thing to add to that is magically, there's this sort of whoo that exists over here. Okay. And so as you breathe in and you're dropping and the sound is about to go, it kind of goes, ah, oh, and you've become this spherical character. I never, Juan Diego, we never feel like they're at their limit. There's always this space above it because they're not coming at the sound this way. They're coming at it that way. Right? Yeah. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Have you thought about this? Have you? I'm trying to better my own set and yeah. to think of a bigger space. And yeah. Trust me, this is a lifelong journey. That tent pole thing came to me about nine months ago. And I was like, I've been out there all this time, dude. I haven't had the tent poles. What have I been doing? <laughs> They've been paying me to sing, and I didn't have my poles. How did I ever do that? So trust me, here's the thing. We're in this crazy, crazy boat that is always shifting. That's what singing is. And we never land. It's never completely concrete. It can't be. It's invisible. It's air. It's nothing. It's so we can never grab it, hold on to it, and keep it in that spot. The second we go, oh, that's where my high C goes, huh, 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 you know what I mean? And that's how I say high C so. <laughs> to be fair, that would be my A natural, my high A natural, like, ha, 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 OK, there it is. So we all have those notes. The second we try and put it in its place, something is locking. Something of the mechanism is going, it goes here. Instead of going, in order to go there, I need to drop, I need to move my breath, and I need to phonate, and oh, there it is. We have to do the actions that give us the effect. 
and not go for the effect. Does that make sense? Yeah. Here's the other fun thing. After the first two phrases that you've sung, you have this little possibility to monitor a little bit and going, oh my god, I'm not breathing. That can turn into, I'm a failure as a human being, or it can turn, that's another subject, or it can turn into, oh, make sure, Nicholas, on your next breath that you drop. Di più resiste, di più resiste, non so, oh my god, I'm so tight. Ha, ah, ah, there we go. You can always come back to ground zero. Can we start this one more time? That's Please. just a little bit of information to process. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. Show me that breath again that you took. Wow, but even lower. So it's, yeah. So I shouldn't hear. I should hear. I should hear. Wait. Put your hand, put your hand here. I should hear it. That's what I hear. Listen to Ferruccio Furlanetto. Mamma mia. <laughs> right? He's like, Hey, la I know I'm in trouble when I'm like, <gasps> that's not breathing. That's stacking, hyperventilating, and it's the worst thing. If you can hear your breath, you're doing it a little bit too actively. So what we want is just, so show me that. Wow, did you feel that? Did you hear that? <laughs> it was really good. Did you feel that? Okay, now add the tent poles. Okay, do it one more time. And. Stop. What just happened? It's very easy. <laughs> it's easier. What did you do? I started screwing my tent pole. <laughs> You'd be like, Maestro, just a second. <laughs> The second we start thinking about making sound, we're in big trouble. Because what do we do? We go to make the sound instead of creating the environment for the sound to happen. If we create the environment for it, freedom is there, and the sound goes just like your chest had just did. Was there a difference? Yeah. <laughs> that was unanimous. OK? Did you feel that? Can yeah. we try it one more time? Give me a couple more breaths. Go out. Drop, yeah, drop. Good, one more time. <laughs> and. Stop. Breathe. No? Did you hear it? Yeah. Yeah, go. Di più resistere. Right, right. Drop. Di più. Wait, wait. Did you drop? Di più resistere. Drop. No, she How's that feel? <laughs> Watch Juan Diego Flores and look how much time he takes to breathe. Doesn't matter what the orchestra's doing, he needs to breathe. <laughs> No, and I, I, but I say that, I say that with all the respect. Look at what, look what Morella Franey did. Look at these great singers, and they went, Caballé, hello, all the time in the world. <laughs> Maestro, if I do not breathe, I cannot sing. <laughs> right? Can we just do this one more time? Don't think about sound at all. Just think about stopping the sound on the breath and releasing, okay? <laughs> Good. Drop. Di più resistere. Di più resistere. Noi ci mancar mio segno. No. Right. <laughs> That's why we record ourselves.
But what just happened? It was a reactionary breath, right? Yeah. So no, no, it's a long phrase. So you, of course, you want to take the breath. And you, wow. Okay. It sounds fabulous like that. It's great. Congratulations. I know it's just one phrase, but it's everything. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks.